Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cutting Edge Garage. It's been a while, it's been a long time since I've done a video. We've done a lot with heavy duty and, and Texas coverage on heavy duty is great, but you can't pass up the opportunity when you have one to show off the supercar capabilities in the Texas car software. So that's exactly what we're here to do today. A friend of a friend brought in their Lamborghini Huracan and we're gonna go through what Texas has to offer on the Lamborghini. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by selecting diagnosis, followed by supercar. We're gonna select L over here on the right menu. We've got Lamborghini up. Now we're gonna go ahead and run a VIN check. This is basically your auto ID process of the vehicle to make sure that uh, we're selecting all of the systems accurately and the most accurate way to do that is with the auto ID and the VIN scan. So you can see up here at the top, we have our VIN vehicles identified. And what we wanna do next is we're gonna start with the TGS-3 scan. No different than truck or any of the other videos or any of the other environments that we've done, whether we're in motorcycle or marine, we always wanna run a TGS scan because that's gonna go out and interrogate the entire vehicle and give us a list of any faults uh, that may be present um, in any of the modules or sub-modules. Down here we have our video showing where the connector is located. Again, on a lot of standard automotive, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be right under the, the driver's side dash somewhere. On your supercars, they may stick this somewhere else and having these videos in here to identify connector location is very helpful. We're gonna go ahead and select next. And what the IDC5 software is gonna do now is it's gonna go out, it's gonna interrogate all of the systems that could be present on this vehicle and it's gonna come back and generate a code report of whatever happens to be there. Key is already in the run position. Or ignition, I should say, this thing doesn't have a key, but the ignition is in the run position. Now that we've run our TGS scan, we get a quick code report of everything that may or may not be present on the vehicle. So remember, and, and again, we're going back to some of the other videos that we've done because this is one of our first supercar videos, but just like any other environment that Texa has, the red X means the module's not communicating for one reason or another. It's either not fitted to the vehicle or there's a communication issue, whether that be on the vehicle or with the software. One way or the other, that module's not communicating. All of our green check boxes are modules that are present they're on the bus and there's no faults. Our yellow boxes with the exclamation point in the triangle is letting us know that that module is present. It is communicating, but we have some faults stored. So the quickest way to take a look at what those faults are is to click on DTCs detected. Now, a couple things to point out here. In the central gateway, for example, we have some um, U codes or communication codes and the LED next, the digital LED next to the code is colored yellow. And what that's letting us know is that's a history or a memory fault and it's not a current present fault. Same here. In the ele information electronic system, we have a couple of communication codes. Just like in the central gateway, we have in the information electronic system, we also have some U codes and a couple of B codes. Any number of things could have set these false codes, it could be ghost codes, any, any number of things. What we're stressing here is that these are history or memory faults and they're not current active faults. Now, let's say for some reason, we actually do have a problem related to these faults. This vehicle doesn't have any complaints with it, but let's, let's say for example, uh, the customer's complaining about a problem with the fan and here we have this B, uh, 126 B01 fan code. So if I want to interrogate that system, all I have to do is double click on the module that I want to communicate with and the software will automatically start the communication process with that particular module. Okay. 
So we have front right tweeter speaker, we've got fan, limited operation due to missing message, limited operation due to missing message. Again, a lot of these are likely going to be uh, ghost coats. Parameters is going to be all of our data stream. So here we're looking at eight data PIDs. Obviously when we switch over and go into engine, we're going to have a lot more data PIDs available to us. ECU info is all of your hardware and software numbers, VIN IDs, calibration IDs, that type of information. Activations, as we know from our other text of videos, are always going to be our bi-directional controls. There's no settings menu, but there's really not a whole lot in this particular module that we need to, to set up or, or adapt. And, and that's generally what your settings menu is going to be, is adaptations and module coding, things like that. So let's go ahead and back out of this module. And we're going to do that by clicking the red X at the top. Something else that I really want to point out here is obviously this is a newer vehicle and there's a lot of modules, a lot of sub-modules that, that make up the advanced electronic system on this Lamborghini. What's really cool with the Texas Supercar software is we have that coverage that you need to work on these higher end vehicles. And that's really something that I want to stress in this video. Is we're going far beyond just engine and transmission. Yes, we can go in and do the transmission adaptives and all that kind of stuff, but we also have the airbag and the, the body controls and all of the other sub-modules that you need to properly be able to service this vehicle. We're going to go ahead and go into the central gateway. I'm going to select confirm. And again, we're always going to default to the faults page. Parameters here, we have a little bit more than the eight that we had in the other module. We're looking at 107. ECU info is going to be, again, hardware, software numbers, calibration IDs, things like that. Activations is going to be our bi-directional commands. Always pay attention. Anywhere, we remember, anywhere where we have these question marks with the circle means that there's some more information available and we can always click on that and find out what that is. So this is just giving us a little bit more information about what that, comp that particular component activation does. Here's our entire list. And then we also have a settings menu in this particular module. So we have the automatic ring uh, brake diagnosis. We've got... Um, gateway coding, um, bus light intensity reduction, new battery, adaptation, reset of all adaptation values, static current me measuring code, and transport mode. So again, far and beyond a OBD2 generic code reader for this Lamborghini Huracan, which is what most everybody else that covers Lamborghini has to offer. Go ahead and hop out of the gateway. We'll go take a look at the engine. And again, something else that I'm going to point out, and I know this is, I'm kind of beating this to death, but as a former technician and shop owner, it's really important to me, ease of use and, and the shortest path forward to get through that learning curve um, is, is instrumental in getting the most out of the investment in your scan tool. And Texa regardless of environment, always follows the same path. So whether we're dealing with motorcycle or heavy duty truck or any of the other environments, um, regardless, we always default to the faults page. We're always gonna navigate through that module with the buttons across the top, regardless of environment. So when we select parameters, here we're looking at 352 parameters, okay? So we can also, we have our, I wanna point out, min-max values here. So this is gonna be the highest and lowest reading on that particular data PID from the time we started communication with the module. We can also double click on these, put them into graph mode. And then if we wanna come out of graph mode, we just double click and go back. Okay, ECU info again, hardware, software, numbers, calibration IDs, VIN number, that, that kind of thing. Activations is gonna be our bi-directional controls. 
So for example, if we want to run the fan, we select the, the fan control one. We're going to come down here to start. And you should be able to hear this in my microphone. Should be loud enough and should, pretty impressive fan on this car. Uh, keep that engine cool. And you guys should start hearing that fan. So obviously our fan operation is working. And then you also hear that um, uh, fan velocity start to slow back down as I've canceled the, the command. And then we also have our settings menu. There's an entire list here, as you can see. We'll just kind of scroll through this a little bit. So again, we're way beyond OBD2 generic at this point. We have all of the module coverage that you need. We have the bi-directional capabilities that you need. We have the settings menu to give you advanced configurations and things like that. In a minute, we'll go in and we'll take a look at the transmission because that's one of the calls that we get very often from the guys interested in our supercar software is the, can you set up the transmission? Can you do the adaptations and things like that when we pull these transmissions and service them? And the answer is yes, we can. So I'm gonna back out of this and we'll go ahead and we'll jump into the transmission. Again, just like everything else, we're gonna to default to the faults page. We've got our parameters over here. In the transmission, we're looking at 222 parameters. We can do our graphing in the same way. Okay, double click on, double click on it to open it up, double click on it to close it. Something I didn't show you in some of the other modules, but again, this is gonna be um, the same operation regardless of environment and regardless of what module you're in. We have the ability to do a quick filter. So let's say these are the only data PIDs that I'm interested in. I'm getting rid of everything else and I'm just focusing in on the key data PIDs that I wanna take a look at. And this is really important when it comes to uh, diagnosis. Uh, every technician um, does things slightly different than the next guy. Um, and it's somewhat of a personal thing um, or the way that you were taught. What you wanna look at when you're diagnosing a given problem. So we have the, we give you the ability to do the quick filter, but more importantly, we also give you the ability to set up favorite parameters. And we can have multiple uh, data groups set up so that every time I go into this Lamborghini Huracan or any, not just this particular Lamborghini Huracan, but any Lamborghini Huracan, we're gonna have uh, custom, we have the ability to have custom data lists set up uh, for things like chasing fuel delivery or a body control problem or over temp, over pressure. You can customize the data PIDs however best suits your diagnostic needs. Because again, like I said before, diagnostics is a very personal thing. You set it up the way you want, not what we think you should use. To get out of the, the favorites, I just click the back button. And to remove the filter, I just click that. And I'm right back to the full text data list. ECU info, again, hardware, software numbers, calibration IDs. Activations are gonna be our bi-directional controls, very little activations in the transmission. In fact, all we have is error clearing. But what really sets us apart is gonna be all of the functionality that we have in the settings menu. This is where we're gonna go in and set up the base adjustments, uh, do the clutch adaptations and things like that. As you start to scroll through the advanced settings menus and, and the advanced capabilities that we have, what you start to see is we actually do have that coverage that everybody's asking for. In summary, the Texas Supercar software is second to none. Our closest competitors are gonna be in that twenty dollars to $25,000 range, going all the way up as high as fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for a supercar package. And what sweetens the pot even more is not only are you gonna pick up all of the awesome supercar coverage that you saw here today, but you're also gonna pick up all of the standard Asian, European, and domestic, U.S. domestic vehicles as well. So regardless of what you're working on, whether it's a F-250 Super Duty truck, 
or this Lamborghini Huracan, you're going to have coverage for it. We're packages starting at $71.95, giving you all of that coverage and capability. What else could you ask for? How about ADOS? With the Texas software, you have the ability to also add on ADOS. If you want to do ADOS as, as ADOS becomes more and more prevalent in today's market, we have ADOS coverage for all of the Asian and European vehicles and domestic vehicles coming into the marketplace with the advanced driver assistance systems. All of the ADOS software is already at your fingertips. You have some OE targets, not a problem. You can use the OE targets with Texas software because we base all of our ADOS calibrations on the factory, unlike several of our competitors that have redesigned the targets. Outstanding value, $71.95. Complete coverage, Asian, European, domestic, supercar, ADOS. All you have to do is add your targets and you're ready to go. What more could you ask for in a supercar tool? In addition to the Exony Nemo and Nano package that we were talking about, make sure you guys check out the outstanding diagnostic work carts that we're bringing in to support our diagnostic offering. We're gonna have built-in power, monitors mounted on it, ready to go, turnkey, keyboards, mouse, the whole nine yards. This is a keyboard tray that when fully extended locks in place so you can put your keyboards in here and so forth. So again, outstanding value in diagnostics, fantastic diagnostic workstation coming soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. We're very grateful that you took time to stop into the Cutting Edge Garage. We look forward to seeing you again soon. I'm Lee Locklear. Thank you.